Hi, I'm Patrick, founder of Perry Parts. At Perry Parts, we design and manufacture high performance bump stops to give you better ride quality, improved control, and enhanced suspension performance, whether you're off roading, towing, or just daily driving. So, why is it important to tune your bump stops? At Perry Parts, we don't believe in a one size fits all approach. Every vehicle has unique suspension geometry, weight distribution, and driving dynamics. So we custom tune our bump stops for each platform that we support. One of the key ways that we do this is by adjusting the density of our product. So you can see here, by altering the internal structure of our bump stops, we can tune the spring rate from as low as 50 pounds per inch all the way up to over 6,000 pounds per inch. What this allows us to do is make sure that the bump stop is supportive enough for the vehicle platform without being so stiff that it's uncomfortable or jarring on impact. Different vehicles require different spring rates based on weight and suspension design. A lightweight SUV needs a much softer bump stop than a full-size truck which carries more mass and generates higher suspension forces. Being able to tailor the bump stop to the vehicle is important in this regard. Another great example is control arms. The control arm leverage ratio means that the bump stop sees markedly more force on compression. For instance, on this control arm, the bump stop contact patch is here, roughly 2.7 to 1 ratio from where the wheel and the spindle assembly is pushing on the control arm to the pivot point, meaning that the bump stop will see 2.7 times more force on a given impact. By tailoring the number and size of the ports on the bottom of the product, we can adjust the overall damping coefficient of the product. For example, smaller ports results in more compression damping and subsequently more energy absorption. Larger or more ports does the opposite. It reduces the restriction of the air moving in and out of the product. To validate our designs, we use our in-house suspension dyno and real-world field testing to ensure that every bump stop performs at its best. This is a damper. It's a suspension part. This is a dampener. Different things. So what is damping and how do you measure it? Damping is the process of absorbing and controlling energy as your suspension moves. Without proper damping, your suspension would keep bouncing and oscillating uncontrollably after every bump, making your ride unstable and uncomfortable. Your shocks are the primary source of damping in your suspension, but they're carefully tuned to work with the rate and stiffness of your springs. These operate as a system. Together, your shocks and springs control how your vehicle moves over bumps absorbs impacts and settles back after compression. However, what a spring and a shock don't offer when put together is bottom out resistance. Bottom out resistance is when your suspension offers even more support to prevent over travel at the absolute limits of suspension articulation. This is where a bump stop comes in. We've created a bump stop that also offers damping as part of the bump stop with no additional moving parts. Our bump stop reduces rebound forces and sheds that energy so that way your shocks don't have to do that work. Unlike spring stiffness, which can be measured with a static test, like a spring compressor where you compress the spring and measure the overall force, damping is inherently dynamic. And if a business says that they offer damping while doing a static test, it is evident that they're not actually measuring damping. Damping can only be measured by compressing the part at speed and recording its force feedback. Since damping is speed sensitive, a static test, as I mentioned, won't tell you anything meaningful about how a suspension part, like a bump stop, will perform on your vehicle. Only dynamic testing, where the bump stop is rapidly compressed and force is measured several times per second, will really reveal their true damping characteristics. This is why we use a suspension dyno, which is able to measure the force feedback of our bump stop at multiple velocities as well as at different uh, depths of compression. So why shouldn't you rely on your shocks to do the damping work of your bump stop at the limit of your suspension travel? A bump stop is on the order of several times stiffer than your springs that are supporting your vehicle. Meaning that when you hit your bump stop, it generates far more rebounding force than your shocks were designed to support. What this means is with an undamped bump stop, your shocks get overloaded and they are not able to settle the suspension as quickly on bump stop contacts. Your shocks are also tuned to handle the stiffness of the springs and the weight of the vehicle. By introducing an undamped spring, like a traditional bump stop into the system, you force the shocks to do markedly more work as they try to settle down a spring that rebounds several times harder and faster than it's designed to handle. This can cause excessive rebound, where the suspension bounces back too hard after a bump, 
loss of traction where your tires momentarily lose contact with the ground, and generally unstable handling because the vehicle feels unsettled, particularly in rough terrain. That's where our bump stops come in. Our bump stops are designed to damp their own rebound forces by shedding the energy and turning into heat in the same way that your shock would on your regular suspension. Our bump stops act like a tiny spring and shock absorber tailored to work together right at the limits of your suspension travel. So for a quick example, in your suspension at the very limits, this is what a traditional bump stop acts like. It's a spring and it catches the vehicle and then rebounds that energy back into the suspension. There's nothing in here that is stopping or slowing the rate of rebound as it pushes force back into your suspension, picking the vehicle back up again. Our bump stops behave more like a coilover, which is a spring and a damper unified into one assembly. Now, obviously these are much more substantial parts than the humble little bump stop, but the concept remains the same. Both of these are a spring and a damper in one assembly. Another nice side effect of having extended bump stops is softer initial engagement for a smooth transition into the bump zone. In other words, these are taller than the OEM bump stop, and therefore when they engage, they engage sooner and dissipate that energy over a longer distance. This is more similar to pulling a parachute versus landing on the ground without one. That amount of energy is the same. The amount of energy dissipated remains the same. However, when you do it over a longer distance, you survive. <laughs> or for example, you would be uh, feeling a lot, lot less jarring of a force. A few other benefits of this, um, this reduces the workload in your shocks. By doing some of this damping work in the bump stop itself, and we've actually had customers say that they've gone on a trail run and felt these and they were actually hot because that's how much energy they were shedding and keeping out of being passed back into the suspension. So you reduce the amount of work that your shocks do and therefore you end up with less shearing in the oil and less wear and tear on the shocks themselves. By fine tuning the damping for each vehicle, we ensure that our bump stops don't just absorb impacts, they actively improve your ride quality and handling. Bump stops are an integral part of your suspension's dynamics and being tuned and properly set up for the vehicle themselves is really important to ensure an ideal ride experience. Most people don't realize how often they actually hit their bump stops while driving. Whether it's a pothole, a speed bump, or an off-road obstacle, your suspension is constantly working and your bump stops play a much bigger role than most people think. Bump stops control the last few inches of suspension travel, preventing metal-on-metal -metal contact when your suspension compresses fully. But they're not just about protection. They're critical for ride quality, particularly when you're off-road, and they help with handling and suspension control. The problem with traditional bump stops is they act more like a small secondary spring, compressing and rebounding with no real damping, and they're very, very stiff. This causes a harsh bottom out followed by an uncontrolled bounce that unsettles your vehicle. That's where Perry Parts comes in. Our bump stops don't just compress, they actively manage compression and rebound damping, functioning more like a miniature shock absorber at the end of your suspension travel. This means softer initial engagement for a smooth transition into the bump zone, controlled energy absorption to prevent harsh bottom outs, and damped rebound to stop excessive bouncing and keeping your vehicle more stable. Whether you're off-roading, towing, or just driving on rough roads, your bump stops do a lot more work than you think, and they're one of the most important parts of your vehicle for a smooth and controlled ride.